So I wanted to do an update quickly for you guys because I noticed that the price of Seifu has fallen. Okay, guys. Now, what I've been doing in this dip is buying the dip. Now, I'm not sure what happened over here, but I think a few whales um, actually sold um, a couple of huge bags of Seifu. And um, yeah, obviously, it tried, it tried to come back up again. Uh, so the dip was getting bought back up and there's been another dump. But in my opinion, this is, you know, it's just whale food, okay, guys? It's just it's just an opportunity for those that missed the boat to kind of get in because I believe that this is going to go back up again. And even if it doesn't go back up in the immediate term, this is what I want to focus on right here is these numbers. A daily ROI of $308, a five-day ROI of uh, $1,617. And as the price increases, or even if the price stays stable, What's going to happen is my token balance is going to increase. Now, I actually took some profit off the table a couple of days ago because I've been in this coin since pre-sale, okay, guys? So, you know, I do feel it's important to get your initial investment out and take some profit, lock in some gains because at the end of the day, these numbers right here are unrealized Pro, uh, it's unrealized profit, okay, guys? So, you know, um, it's all good looking at the numbers and, you know, getting bullish and, you know, thinking that you're rich and so on when you make a lot of money. But if you don't lock in any of those gains, it's just a pipe dream, okay, guys? So for me, um, I did take some profit off the table. So everything in here right now is house money, okay, guys? I cannot lose on this protocol. However, I believe I'm going to gain on this protocol because I believe this dip is going to get bought back up. I'm going to make lots of money, okay, guys? So... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you that update. Um, what else? There was another thing, actually. So if we go to the Seifu Discord, um, let's just open a website and go to the, uh, the Discord. The link will take me straight there, so I don't need to faff around. Um, if we go to the Discord, there's actually a proposal that the dev is making. Um, he hasn't addressed this second half of the dump um, yet, but he did address the first part of the dump. And... Um, He's got a solution to help us, uh, you know, um, uh, get the get these numbers back up as well, guys. So how do I turn off the notifications? I told you guys, I'm 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 getting to uh, I'm I'm getting a little bit more familiar with Discord. So where do I go? I go to the announcements. Okay, so in the announcements, um, there is a video of the of an AMA that he did, uh, which I do recommend you go and check out. That's that's this one right here. Um, but listen, if anybody knows how to turn these noises off, guys, please let me know in the comments because, you know, I'm I'm new to Discord and, you know, the thing, every time I've got it on, I just keep hearing these little notification sounds and I really don't know how to turn them off. I thought I could just mute them from here, um, but it doesn't seem to work for me. So, yeah, let me know in the comments how to turn off the notifications so I don't keep getting, you know, disturbed by these little noises. So there is an announcement right here. That says, okay, in just eight short hours from now, there will be an automatic liquidity injection from our sell engine. Uh, why this is such a big deal is that we have had such a huge amount of trading volume today because of the panic selling that there is currently over 2,900 safe you in the auto liquidity wallet. Um, how the sell engine works is that it will take 50% of the safe you and buy BNB at market price with it. This basically means that 50% of that 2,900 safe you will be sold for BNB and then paired with an equal weighting of safe you BNB for the automatic liquidity ad. Uh, so basically that works out about $690,000. And of course, with this dump that we've seen already, the last thing is we want more of a dump uh, to create more selling pressure and, you know, make a less pretty chart. So, you know, if you don't know what safe you is and you don't know about the auto liquidity uh, tool, uh, basically, um, it just increases the liquidity. So the way I explained it before is for those that think that this could be a rug pull, um, when the liquidity is locked for 13 and a half years, the whole definition of a rug pull is liquidity being removed from the protocol. But the way that this protocol is set up is actually adding liquidity every 48 hours with this tool that they're talking about right here, which is why I'm bullish on this project. There's always going to be liquidity for you to make your trades. So it says that that amount will be added to liquidity and that will strengthen a harder base, making the price less volatile. But it does still mean a big price dip if that happens, because that is a lot of money there. Obviously, it's seen a lot of price action recently. So the, the, the wallet that collects that liquidity fund 
has been like filled up really quickly, which could have a huge impact on the price. So due to the price currently being in recovery mode, we do not believe that it is a good idea to cause a further negative downward price, uh, price momentum. Uh, what we are proposing to you is to have your say and tell us if you think we should burn a portion of the safe view into the fire pit instead of the liquidity so price is not too badly affected and what portion of the safe view should we manually burn into the fire pit. Now if you don't know what the fire pit is, uh, the fire pit is basically, um, let's just go to the dashboard. This is the fire pit right here, which collects the supply. And um, this is essentially a burning of the supply. So you can see there's 12% which has been burnt already. Um, so instead of having it, uh, 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 instead of uh, uh, the, the liquidity uh, being brought back, uh, what we could potentially do, or what they could potentially do, is send those funds that have been accumulated on this occasion from that wallet into the fire pit instead. Uh, instead of you know adding liquidity so to tell you the truth there's like how much liquidity there's 12.2 million dollars in liquidity there okay guys so do we need another you know 690,000 liquidity i mean it's good for the long term longevity of the project however in the very short immediate term that's just going to cause a negative you know an, another negative reaction to the price action so uh, it's very smart for them to do that i think it is a solution of course i do you know uh, i do vote for the fact that um you know we should send it to the, the fire pit rather than add to the liquidity i'm not sure uh, how to vote right here i'd look uh, do i just click it okay i think yeah send 100 percent to the uh yeah is that um all right so i'll just click that there okay so as you can see the majority of the vote has voted for uh 50 of that to go to the fire pit and then um you know uh uh you know 50 percent of it to go into liquidity but my vote is just to send the whole lot there because uh, especially considering you know what's just happened uh, there has been a essentially a part two of this dip but it's actually put in a double bottom and people are buying a dip and i'm one of those people that's been buying a dip all right guys so uh, i just wanted to give you that update um say few i'm still bullish on this token um i don't know who's doing doing the dips but i know that um the, the founder did mention that some of the competitors were buying a token uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but they were buying and holding the token uh, at the beginning. Uh, uh, so you know, who knows if it could be com competitors trying to trying to flush out, trying to trying to cause some fud. All right, guys, I don't know. It's just speculation. But that being said, it's the end of the video. Uh, please let me know what you think about this in the comments. Uh, uh, like, comment, and subscribe because uh, that helps with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.